In the middle of the project, you pick up a can of spray paint just to finish off what you're doing and nothing, absolutely nothing, it's clogged up. How do we fix it? Let me show you. So this particular can is the male style. And the first thing I wanna do is just make sure the nozzle isn't clogged. One of the easiest ways to do that is just to press this down. You can just press it down. It doesn't depress very far. And if it doesn't spray, you could you could put a towel or you know you could put a rag over or something because it if it is good it'll spray out. And if it does spray, your nozzle is most likely clogged. Save your old nozzles. You can just go grab another new nozzle that was spraying good. Sometimes these things are just notorious for not spraying good. If this is your culprit, there's a couple different things you can do. You can you can just scrape off the crust off the front. There's a little black thing in here you can pry out. This one sometimes they're white. Yeah, this one's white. In there, you can just pry that out. You can spray through it. Uh, my favorite thing to use is carburetor cleaner, which is essentially just acetone. It's just acetone, but we can get the little nozzle. We can put it up in there, and we can verify that that passage is clear. Still, it won't spray. We can feel the sides of the can. The can is stiff. That means there's pressure in there, so we still have pressure in there. We have an internal clog. Straw goes down to the bottom, pulls the paint off the bottom. There's propellant up here. It can be. CO2, it can be propane, it can be, sometimes it's even Freon, our 134A or 152A, something like that. But now we just need to clear that clog. There's really only one way to do it, and that is to force air back down into there and clear that clog, but we really don't want to uh, add a bunch of just raw air from the environment. So as little as possible just to clear the clog because any air we add in there has a potential of actually solidifying and making the product dry out. Now from test before, I know that there's about 100, any, depending on the temperature of the can, there's somewhere around 100 PSI of pressure in this can. So we need to come at it with at least that from our air compressor. So it looks like I'm at about 110 PSI. So we'll try that first and see where we get from there. So there's two different ways you can do this. First way is with a tire Schrader valve. Here we go right here. These are the things that are sitting in your car tire. And what we can do is just put an air fill on the end of this, just a tire fill. And then we take this and there's a metal, this metal, this brass piece goes down to about that ridge. And we're able to put this over and compress the rubber enough that it pushes this down inside and everything's kind of captured in there. And then we can add air and nothing sprays out on our face. That's actually my preferred method. I will also, show you guys how I do it with the uh, the rubber tipped blow gun. So this is just a, you know, a, a blow gun to blow off dirt, debris. I've got the compressor set. This is the male style. This is the female style where there's actually the male tip is on here. Works both ways with the rubber tip. We just push it in there and we just give it a little shot. If that doesn't work with the male style, we can actually put it in there, pull down, push down the depressor, force it against the front and spray, being careful we don't just snap it off and then the can's just ruined. But what I'm gonna do is, cause there's a chance that paint is gonna spray out, is I'm gonna take my nozzle, I'm gonna try to encapsulate that piece, I'm gonna wrap a rag around it. And I felt air, I felt bubbles go down into the can and that was it. Did I get any spray paint out there? Nope. So now let's take this can that wasn't spraying Ah, oh, come on. And I'll tell you, I shook this up good. That when you get a can, if it gets too many lumps in it, there's a chance that you can't free it up. But we'll, we'll, we'll try. We'll get it. I freed them up enough to... Yeah, there you go. You saw that one. This can is going to be a bugger. We'll do it again. That clog keeps working its way in. Sometimes you do it once and the can is good to go. Sometimes this does it and it breaks it up far enough where you don't have to worry about it.
There we go. We got it. Now I can use up the rest of the can. Just like that, spray can is clear. Little tip for you on these cans with the uh, the male nozzle. This little tr this little slit in the back can get clogged up. So if you have a nozzle that's just giving you a ton of fit, you can actually come in here with a knife, razor blade, and actually just widen that slit up just a little bit, and that'll make so it's less likely to clog. Also, if you're always getting clogs, yes, you can take it upside down and spray until it sprays out clear, but you usually waste a fair amount of, of um, spray, and I think it also it doesn't clean out the tip completely, is you can take carburetor cleaner slash acetone and just spray through it, and you'll be good to go next time. There we go. I saved a full can of spray paint. One thing I'm going to want to do now is use the can. Um, there's a chance that the little bit of air that I introduced in there might form a crust or something else on there and, inter and make it possible for that just to solidify just a little bit and it won't be usable in a month or two from now. Probably not though. The little bit that I added in there, probably not, but I'd still want to do it. I'd want to probably use up the can right now uh, on whatever project and be done with it. Maybe it'll last. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye. Get it. Get it.